Hey there all craft beer lovers. Thank you for joining me for this beer review. Time to take that old trip, guys. We're heading toward Denmark for this one. We are returning back to Ale Farm Brewing. There you go. For this uh, nice looking can, uh, taking a look at their Time to Shine. Described as a double dry hopped pale ale, clocking in at 5%. Uh, full transparency there regarding the hops. They're using Halito Blanc, Mosaic, Amarillo, and BRU1. Uh, 440 ml can, 5%, as I said. And there's a look at the artwork. There you go. So, very colorful indeed. And that's the information we get. So, with that said, let's pop the top, see what we get then. Right. There we go. Okie dokie then. So Ale Farm do good beers. Uh, I try to pick them up when I see them around. But they're kind of a, quite a prolific uh, brewery. They do a lot of beers. So you can't keep up with everything in every brewery, right? That's just how it, how it is. <laughs> That's just the way it is. But you will have to pick out one from each brewery every now and then, right, to keep up. Uh, two fingers worth of head white, uh, small bubbles on top. There you go. Uh, it's got a nice pale golden color to it. It's pale ale. Yeah, looking nice. Hazy, juicy looking aroma then. Yeah, hoppy, slightly tropical. Spicy. Slight green elements in there. But it smells nice. So with that said, let's give it a bash, see what we get. Cheers all. Yes, yeah, so it's quite carbonated. Certainly a sharp carbonation there. Quite bitter aftertaste. Not really that super pleasant bitterness, to be honest. A little bit, almost like a little bit metallic bitterness. Kind of a, you know, like a green, uh, green bitter vibe about it. Like, for instance, if you took some like green herbs and just you know, shoved them in your mouth and chewed them like green bitter herbs, it's that type of bitterness there. And it's not really super pleasant, to be honest. Um, lingering, a little bit sharp uh, carbonation and sharp bitterness. You have to got a decent body, slight uh, initial semi sweet tropical uh, hint, a little bit orangey, citrusy. But it's mostly all about that uh, that carbonation dominating the beer, quite sharp carbonation, and then that bitterness, which is kind of herbal and uh, green herbal bitterness. Dry as well at the back end. For me, it's not really one of the best double dry hot pale ales I've ever tried, but I mean, it's certainly drinkable. Let's go for the final sip. Yes, I mean, it's okay. It has a certain refreshing aspect to it. I, I guess this would have been more of a pleasant summer beer. A little bit more pleasant drinking during the summertime. But as it stands, it's okay. Uh, ale Farm Brewing and their Time to Shine. Uh, double Dry Hop Pale Ale. For me, I mean, it's okay, but nothing more than that. Uh, but drinkable, 3.25 out of 5. Thanks for watching.